Howdy there, folks. Welcome back to Battletech Advanced. We need to fix the Night Star. We also have a Rifleman, and we got a Demolisher from the uh, Salvage, which is neat. Uh, let's see. Gauss Rifle is missing, which is expensive. But that's okay, because um, I have another one. Ta-da! Handled. Now, we are also missing an ER Medium Laser. Yep. Handled. Good as new. Good as new. Now let's get this Rifleman 5L. Let's get into this guy here. Now we've got Intersphere double heat sinks and Intersphere large pulse lasers, which are very, very, very warm. That is going to be a problem, probably. However, I see some options for making other things out of this. Now the Rifleman is not the most armored of things. And that is its own challenge. That's fine. I'm not terribly terrified of what limited machine I have here. Because I have ideas. Now let's remove some of the wub wub here. Let's remove some of that. You can also remove some of these heat sinks. Someone's going to be screaming. Tex, you're removing heat sinks. Don't worry. Don't worry. Binary lasers. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, put you there. And I put you there. And you know what? Take these heat sinks out. And then large binary laser. Large binary laser. Now, why do you have two large binary lasers? Because they fit. That's why. All right. Double heat sink kit. Taking that out. That's way too expensive. And I need to save those for other things. An XL engine. Not really necessary. All right. Now, this thing is going to run really, really hot. And that's okay. Uh, because that's okay. All right. It's, it's all right. We'll be okey and dokey. All we have to do is do single heat sinks. This is a very poor man's low tech approach to this. Now, medium lasers. Yeah. We're going to put medium lasers on this. See, we're going to do four medium lasers and two large binary lasers. Is this a psychopath's build? Yes. Yes, it is, but most of my heavy firepower is in the arm bits. And that's where I can keep more armor in the torso. You know, sorry, most of my heavy firepower is in the torso, not the arm bits. So I don't have to worry as much. Uh, the rifleman is a little soft, so I'm going to improve it with some hardening. I'm going to make that rear armor uh, a little less soft. Don't make it easy for your opponents. Don't make anything easy for anybody. Just be difficult. Life is difficult. Be difficult back. All right. The anti-rifleman. Now, the heat efficiency is not going to be great. I'll say that much right off the bat. Don't worry about it. We'll be okay. Maybe. <laughs> Why are we using single heat sinks and all that? Because it's cheap. Cheap is what will work for now. So I've gotten rid of some of the stuff in storage, uh, but we do have some interesting parts of stuff, which I, I really would love an archer. I really would love a marauder, but we're going to make do with what we got. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to navigation because we are, we are on a planet that is okay. You know, we're on a planet that's okay. Two skulls. I think we could do two and a half. What do you think? There we go. Albion. Albion. Oh, low gravity, lunar world, colonized vacuum, primitive civilization. Probably not going to be a lot of money there. There's York. Ooh. Ooh. That could be decent. Duran. Rich Vale. <laughs> that sounds like something. Sounds like something the Steiners would have. Ah, yes. Have you seen the high cloud district? Of course not. Uh, let's see, Lancaster, there's York, you know what, you know what, let's see, what else, Smolnik, anything else, Kalang, interesting, interesting, so we're slowly making our way over to not, well, we're, we're gonna go poke the Jade Falcons, because it's funny, oh, Oh. Oh, all right. Vindrill, huh? Not that far away. There's manufacturing here. 
Let's go there. And then we'll go to the Galactic East after that. Yes, I know space is 3D. Forgive my 2D thinking. Something to prove. Oh. There you go. Sure leave. Ah, injuries. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, they're going to do some cliff diving. Sounds a great way uh, to <laughs> lose some brain cells and end up in the hospital as we staple what remains of their face back on. Alrighty. Hell yes. Let's get into the engineering and do more upgrade. Yep. Drop weight limit. Got to get that back up. We need that drop weight limit all the way up, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything that gives me more drop tonnage is uh, kosher. All right, and let's go. Just disregard that guy who, yeah, you're, you're too late. He was trying to get on the jump ship. He's like, wait, 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 I'm in. Sorry, the flight is boarding. Pop. There we go. We're going to go to a new place so we can terrorize them. Again, this game is too cool for school. Hairbrain Schemes did a damn fine job. They did not deserve to get done dirty in front of their dad, as they did. All right, let's see. What sort of equipment do we have? Slepnir, Ballista, Rommel. They have a whole Nighthawk. Uh... Eh, nothing too crazy. Uh, binary lasers, armenium lasers, blah, 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 blah. I'll buy that other AMS because I, I, I lose them. Another SRM-6, we'll take that. Ammo, uh, AC-20. Yes. Yes, always buy the AC-20 ammo. Yes. Let's see. Uh-huh. Arrow 4 ammo. I'm going to buy that while I can. Uh-huh. Looks like I got all of this done. All right. Ooh. snub nose PPCs. Could be nice. Huh. All right. Let us go to the battles. Because I've spent an ass load of money. Now I need to get some of it back. All right, let's see. Incomplete intelligence. You mean my whole operation so far? Oh, okay, don't. Oh, 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 uh huh. So, uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Looks like I could do a duel, which could be pretty sweet. Uh, I just need to take the right mech for it. It doesn't say that there's a weight tonnage limit, so. And I could take that Night Star, but. I could also get its ass pounded, which is probably not great at all, you know. Uh, sure movement. I don't want to fall over. Please. Dragon 66, from the makers of Route 66, The Pathway to Evil, a Knife Fight City movie. Alright, making sure everybody's got their... Training as best we can. Training is probably in air quotes. Again, this is probably death by PowerPoint territory. Uh-huh. Piloting. Uh-huh. Melee base hit. Got it. Got it. Got it. Musket. Mm-hmm. All right. Got that. Gonna train guts up. Right. Nightmare. Uh-huh. Tactics. Got that. Gonna train that up. Just gonna make sure everybody's training's getting up there. More gunnery, multi-target, because typically I have to shoot multiple people. That's where I have to split my munitions. Uh, multi-target, yep, we're going to do that. Because that typically saves me. That saves me. Scooter, we're going to do piloting. We're going to confirm piloting. Uh-huh. Undertaker, we're going to do piloting and tactics. I'm trying to make sure everybody has some training, something approaching an understanding of the war machine that they are strapped to. Need to make sure that uh, your, you know, fusion reactor operators know what button does what. So there is a... Uh, 
Destroy base, I hate escort missions. Duo duel, again, no weight limit. Interesting. Uh, stealing is the best form of flattery. Looks like we have some destroy and capture base missions, but I'm going to go do this duel versus Comstar. They're probably not going to give me a whole machine because they're bastards. Wait, solo duel. <laughs> yeah, I need to make sure that I'm not uh, going out there with all of my equipment. Otherwise, I could be extremely dishonorable, which would be a shame. All right, let's go down there. And to do a solo duel, Hunchback 4P is very tempting. However, uh, I'm probably going to go out there with this Orion just so I can sandpaper the shit out of them with all those. Uh... Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to take Generalissimo. If the CEO can't handle it, he doesn't deserve it. May his legs be broken. Somebody's gonna say in the comments, No balls, you didn't take the Irby. <laughs> I don't know what I'm fighting. If I knew the terrain, and I knew that I could support the Irby, I would. One of the things that was missing from Battletech 2018 that I would have loved to have seen in a sequel is I would love to have seen a map or you could get a guess or pay money to get more intel. So you could buy a map, for instance, like, you know, you do in Payday. You could say, oh, pre-plan some stuff. The more money you put into the operation, the more you get out of it in terms of precise planning equipment, pre-positioning of resources, and maybe even a better chance, though not a certainty, of enemy intel. And then you could pay things off like, oh, their backup is kind of on the fence of whether or not they want to leave the planet. Well, you could pay them a little bit and they would delay their response. You could pay them even more. They wouldn't show up. You could pay them even more and they would turn on their employer. You can have all sorts of fun little things like that. I would like to have seen this in something other than Unity. The guy's name is Slasher. Wow. Oh. I'm going to go stand in the water. I recognize this map from the original game. I'm going to go stand in the water, and I'm going to try to stand behind one of these uh, pillars to not get murdered. What is it? What is it? What is it? It is a rough neck. All right. All right. Let them have it. AC-10 SRM-4. Not really all that dangerous, at least yet. Missing with most of my ordnance per normal. He's like, oh, you have missiles. And I'm like, I have a lot. All right. He also is having the missiles. They miss. Wow. What a sloppy engagement. All right, we're going to we're going to move here and I can circle back around if I need to. Hit him with everything. That's a lot of ow. Where is he going? Oh, he hit me. Ow. And he's hitting that building which means he could probably knock it down on me, which is not good. Let's keep moving forward, and let's stay in that water to keep bleeding heat. Precise strike, because why not? I think I have like eight volleys in this thing, and that's it. All right, already starting to get into structure. Then I'm gonna have to get into melee. Oh, he's getting down in the water. He's got the machine guns, which means he could actually get some crits on me. Which is not great. So we're going to keep moving. Just for enough evasion. Please ammunition explosion. What's he going to do? Ah, oh, he's coming in. Yep. He can get lucky. Now one little machine gun shot. Now that's battle tech. What do you want? That's battle tech for you. Should have gone behind him, but I didn't. It's alright. I'm disarming him. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Peeling him like a potato. Fall down. Yep, he's staying in the fight. Much to his credit. Next round destroys him. Completely. I bet. Alright, let's do it. Yep. Night, night. Take that, you bastard. Talk shit, get hit. I agree. Let's go do the other duel. We can do two duels at once. Oh man, Comstar's mad. I get a roughneck part. Yay. I can sell it. It's money. Doesn't gonna, well, it's not gonna cost too terribly much to get my guy back together. But I could do a tandem duel next time. That's where I might take the hunchback. Uh, because, yes, that is what you do with a hunchback. Is you're like, oh, it's clobbering time. Alright, what do we got now? Fafnir. He's a little injured still. That's what happens when you get bonked on the head. Uh, let's see. Star-crossed lovers. Oh, they elope together. It's a tandem duel, which means, um, I'm here to take some salvage. Alright, I can take duo duel, huh? Alright, let's take old Mr. 4P out and get some of that laser love on people. He's got a lot of guts. You know what? You know what? No, I'm going to take Demon. There we go. Let's go duel, shall we? I challenge you to a duel. And then you just stand across from each other with pistols drawn. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's do some fisty cuffs. That's that's always valid in Battletech. I know a lot of people came into the game uh, through MechWarrior Online, and it's why in the Charger video I had to make a note to that by saying many people are familiar with the Charger only through limited simulations that forbid throwing hands. I'm going to say this, um, in tabletop, if well used, a charger is a bastard to fight because it can get up there. It can find, catch, and beat lighter mechs to death. It can beat a motherfucker with a motherfucker. It can pull parts off them and just rip them to shreds. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's really cool to see. And I've seen some people build some really messed up chargers. Uh, one of my favorites I saw, someone gave a charger a uh, hatchet. And it was just a Freddy Krueger, or sorry, a Jason, you know, sort of charger. Oh, I run this map as well. Nothing personal. Wow. The guy said nothing personal. It's just business. Okay, that's fine. I agree. Nothing personal. It is just business. Alright, looks like I have to advance to contact first. That's fine. We're fighting on the moon. Alright, what do we got? Thunderbolt and an Axeman. Oh, that's not bad at all. Thunderbolt with a Gauss. Medium pulses. Alright. I'm going to charge behind here if I survive my first blap with him. Might get that last Thunderbolt part I need. I'd love to have the Axe Man, though. I have that toy as a much younger man. You know the one of which I speak. Oh, wow. Well, whoever was working there has left work early today in the most express way possible. Axe man. Fighter of the hunch man. Champion of the sun. Alright. Thunderbolt. My job with the MRM is to remind you that I have missiles and you don't have AMS. <laughs> Keep swinging. 
Always keep swinging. All right, I'm going to run around this way. I'm going to try to get you in and, and a little bit of a maneuver hell here. I'm moving there so I can continue to pelt you. Turning the medium lasers off. Uh, these are just light skirmishing volleys until I can get into ouch range. As soon as I can get into ouch range, like <laughs> this distance here, it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tale of crippling an enemy. Oh man, now they're getting into it. Uh huh. All right. Oh boy, you're getting all of them. All I have to do is get lucky with one of them, then you're in trouble. All right, Orion. Today's the day. You get 70 missiles. Not Orion, Thunderbolt, jeez. Gotta have more coffee. Yeah, he's unsettled. He's like, how many more times will this happen? Oh boy. DFA jump behind. Holy shit. Yeah. Talk about a couples game here. They both DFA'd. Now they have lots of damage. Yeah, it does. Man, they did a good job. That was a good tandem drop. And they did a lot of damage. Alright, let's circle behind. Precise strike and shoot. Melee. Ooh, good hit with the axe man. Left arm destroying? Yep. Hunchback doing what it does, getting stuck in and hurting people. All right, here's what we're going to do. Oh, a little bit of overheat. Looks like my overzealousness and design is going to harm me here. Yep, I can knock you down too. Thunderbolt getting back up. He's like, Mama didn't raise no bitch. Oh, he's swinging. He's going to get up and hurt back. I think if I can get one more good shooting run on that uh, Orion, I'll be all right. I'm here. Okay, first of all, we're going to be nasty. We're circling around to chase, and we're going to shoot point blank in the back. Panicked. That's what I like to see. Thunderbolt coming around, swinging in melee. Probably trying to bleed a little heat off before going in hard again. Nope, medium pulse lasers. Still using that heat. Axeman, cruel, but respectable. Oh, there goes the hunchy. No eject, so pilot may be dead. I'll rebuild it, don't worry. You can always rebuild a hunchback, even with other hunchbacks. Yes. Alright, let's back off a little bit. And, uh, can I? Yes. This is a good duel. Oh, they're gonna do it. They ain't afraid. Win, lose, or draw, I enjoy a good duel. I always, I always think they're cool, even though I really am not great at them. <laughs> oh yeah, this is 2v1. I am now in what they like to call the trouble. I know, I know. We're just gonna have to keep swinging, or stepping back. There we go. 
Oh yeah, let's use Precise Strike. Let's kill that Thunderbolt. Hurt him. There's one down. I'm almost out of MRM, if not out. Alright. Yes. I got three volleys left. Gonna bleed that heat off. That's NASCAR for a minute or two. I'm gonna try to shoot him in the back. There we go. With everything. Let's hope that works. Yes, it did. Defeat lovers. <laughs> Will love blossom on the battlefield? No. Pay your bills. Yeah, you can steal someone else's max next time. Sorry, nothing personal. Hmm. Wow, you're gonna be in the hospital a long time. Hunchback will be all right though. All right, let's see if we can get that. Uh, Axe Man, Axe Man. Not the third part though. Damn, damn. I wanted a melee monster. I would have probably just kept it as a melee mech, put a bigger engine in it, and then just all fucking armor on the front, you know? <laughs> just run in. They're like, why does this thing run at 100 kph? And I'm like, it's clobbering time. That's why. All right, so we fought two duels. Nice. We're going to make that money. Maybe. Oh, yeah. We're going to need some mech repairs. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. We're going to go on down to the mech bay and uh, rebuild that. But let's get into our storage. So we have two out of three parts of an axe man. Hephaestus and chameleon. I'm going to scrap. You're not the Hephaestus parts. I'm going to scrap that chameleon there. Thunderbolt. Uh-huh. Roughneck. Eh, you know what? I don't need you. Uh, Thunderbolt I'll keep. Jaeger mech. Never had good luck with you. The X-Man I do want. I do want that X-Man. And that Hunchback is not terrible. Uh, it just needs, it just needs more love. Which I'm going to give, I'm going to give that guy. I'm going to give him some more love. So he can do what he does best, which is hurt people's feelings. A Hunchback is never defeated. It will only generate additional Hunchbacks. Oh, looks like I'm out 10 heat sinks. And a medium pulse laser. Nope, medium laser. Just standard medium laser. Boop. There we go. Let's get into our internals, shall we? Heat sink. Heat sink. Heat sink. Heat sink. All right. So there we go. She's all complete. Uh-huh. Yeah, fine. Just put the heat sinks and the parts back in and right as rain. So let's go. Let's go and find another job. Destroy a base? That's easy. I, I can do that. I can do that all day. Destroy a base. Let's see. Stealing, capture base, destroy a base. Uh-huh. You know, series of warehouses, blah, blah, blah. Medical supplies. No. Destroy base. A heavily armed pirate band. Okay. Yeah, let's go destroy the base. Because I have uh, artillery. And artillery allows me... To sit back at a range I want and to do things that I wish with reckless abandon. So let's go ahead and put our other mech warriors in these things. Jaculus. What a cool name. All right. Let's see. Chaparral. Chaparral. And then we'll bring that demolisher out. Because, yes. Ah, you know what? I'm going to put you in the demolisher. I'm going to put Hot Damn. Nightmare. And then Undertaker. See, two chaparrales and a Ballusta plus a Demolisher. I should be okie dokie, actually. Yeah. We can now drop 515 tons. I think we can drop more than that. I think that's just what our current limit is. Or our current drop group is. It's not a limit. I don't believe in them. We're just going to go fight the enemy with the enemy. But I'm going to just shell the base from where I sit and then engage the enemy. <laughs> That's what you do with artillery. You're like, oh, the enemy's where? Grid square, you say? Okay, no problem. 
<laughs> just draw on a map where the enemy is, circle the area in which they, ha you know, habitate, and then wipe them out. Destroy the enemy. Hurt their feelings. Burn their houses. You know what I mean? That's what you do with artillery. You're like, I don't like that they habitate the same world I do. All right, looks like we've been dropped off on a mountain. How do I pay the dropship pilot more to not do this? This fog is going to mess with your sensors. Don't we have thermals? All right, I guess we're mountain people now. Okay, look. I... This this is insane, but that's all right. I'm going to get the ballista up here. Destroy the facility structures? Okay. You mean those? Stand by. Oh, no. They're like, hey, you can't do that. And I'm like, yes, I can. Uh-huh. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-
generate a billion points of heat. Nothing. All right. Generalissimo, charge down that hill. Sandpaper hunchback. Bleed him dry. Oh, yes. Left leg destroyed. Fall down, fall down, fall down, fall down. Come on. All the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. And... Uh, uh, dead. How's it going? He's like, hey, how's it going? He's just easy going, dude. No shooting, just running. Receiving you. All right. Roll on over that hill. And, uh, yeah. Two AC-20s, baby. Left arm destroyed. Yeah, that demolisher is no joke. Alright, bring up a blackjack, looks like. Very bold choice, Cotton. Let's see how that works. Not really relevant because artillery. I'm losing armor bad. No, you're not. You be quiet. You shut your mouth. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, yeah, hit him. Just, whoops, a little bit of forest fire. Only s Smokey says only you can start forest fires with artillery. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Not much armor left in that location. Yeah, they're gonna, these buildings are gonna fall quick. Hunchback, down the hill, down the hill, let's do this. Okay, blackjack, huh? HMGs, light cannons, what a... Hit him. Oh, Hunchy's getting up. Hunchy is upset. My knee feels like that. Just flames coming out of it. Don't get old. Well, if you do, make sure you stretch more. Otherwise, your back starts to make really funny noises. And by funny, I mean like, ow. Okay, Rifleman 5L coming down the hill. Let's try to finish this hunchback off. Uh, no medium lasers, because we'll cook. Yep, there we go. That's a kill. Yes, it is. I'm, I might get another hunchback. Then I can operate a goon squad of hunchbacks. A crusader? Oh, hell yeah. AMS, get on that. How many did we get? Just a scratch, Commander. Oh, we got four out of 42. Okay, that's not, that's not a lot. Orion, Blackjack. Yeah, are you? Oh, they have turrets. Oh no. I was almost hoping for enemy reinforcements. I was I was hoping they'd drop a a lance or something. I mean, there's there's plenty of structures back there. Alright, let's see. Crusader. Nice mix of weapons, but Gauss rifles hurting. Demolisher forward, and let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, choices, choices, yep, Crusader it is. Yeah, one more good hit on that Crusader, and it's gonna blow the fuck up. Gonna blow the fuck up, Samurai. Alright, there we go. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. See, didn't even have to see it on the map. All I had to do was uh, shell where I presumed it was. Oh yeah, they're they're coming on up. They are not gonna be nice. They really hit that demolisher. Holy shit! Good hits on them. Not that it'll help though. That's the idea. Give everybody always everything you've got. Don't hold back. There may not be a later. 
Oh. Handled. Hunchback coming down the mountain. All right, Blackjack, Crusader. Yup. Knocked down. Knocked down. Knocked down. Pilot bleeding out. Rifleman. All right, Rifleman's already boiling over. All right, no medium lasers. And let's try to hit that torso bit. Spill over. Stressed, I agree. That would be the uh, little icon next to me all day. That little icon, stressed. <sighs> yeah, they really want that demolisher gone. They sense two AC-20s are on their way to the front. Oh, he bailed out. He's like, fuck this. What do you want? Motion, All right, Orion. Show that blackjack that he's really not invited to the birthday party. There you go. He's like, I have made an error. Yes, yes you have. Man, what kind of fucking turrets do they got? That's some bad shit. Just a scratch, man. Yeah, they've got some pretty good turrets back there. Reporting. Major armor lost. What's up, huh? Alright, let's do this. Night Star. Fighter of the Day Star. Champion of the Gun. He's the master of karate and friendship for everyone. All right. Precise strike. Hurt him. Wow. Did you just paint the reticle on the lens yourself? Oh. 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 Ballsy. Oh. Oh. Well, it is a blackjack. They have defective foot pads. That's just... Yeah. All right. Sorry. Floor. Order? Let's do the Care Bear stare with the hunchback, shall we? Hi, how's it going? Goodbye. Go bedtime. Yeah. Tango down. The tango is indeed down. They said we can get to the evac zone, or we can crush these a-holes, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shell uh, the enemy, because I'm not gonna reach the evac zone with all my artillery. Well, damage is minimal for now. Uh, it won't be later. I'm sure as the forest fires spread throughout their parking lot, they're going to be like, uh, we need artillery in the future. And I'm like, yup. Whatever those turrets are, they are tough. So I'm going to walk forward and kill them as best I can. Let that rifleman uh, boil some tea. All right, see what kind of turrets they got. That's a good question. Uh-oh. Oh, the game froze for a second. Aha! Additional pirate forces. That's what I thought. Heavy sniper turret. That is AC2s, PPCs. Wow, that's a good mix of stuff. Kill it. Overkill much? Point defense destroyed. Need something, Chief? All right. Night Star. Demolisher. Rolling forward through the woods. Which I imagine is like the game Planko. Just going between trees. <laughs> Alright, where's the pirate reinforcements? Oh. I said I wanted another lance. And I shall receive. Looks like they're gonna advance through the flames and the fire. Which is... Why? 
Okay, what do we got? Cicada, Assassin. Not really great uh, reinforcements. But it'll do. I'm going to just splash it all with artillery anyways. All right, let's see. Enemy turn. Is it going to advance through the fire too? Let's shell, shall we? Shell. Keep swinging. Alright, that turret's gone. They have another mech back here, and I don't know what it is, but I know I want to kill it. Copy that. Hit that one. Oh, what a nice, nice landing. Alright, in this next round, I hope to remove some of these people. Alright, they got some lasers shooting back. What do we got? Doctor, move up with them AC-20s, baby. Precise strike. Ooh, yeah. Not AC-20s. Binary lasers. Ooh, that's a good hit. Bled a bit of that armor off. Greetings. Would you like to see my MRM collection? They're like, no. And I'm like, don't worry about it. It's coming to you whether you'd like it or not. Turn off some of these medium lasers and there we go. Come on, assassin. You thought you were ready. You were not. It's a bad day to be in that assassin. He's like, uh, and I'm like, yep. Oh, what is this? Demolisher time. I think so. No, oh, not, not perfectly situated yet. Next round, I should be able to crawl everything around that bend and just beat the brakes off him. Oh, I'm going to shoot back with some missiles. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, I'll wait. Go ahead. Yes, Commander. Oh no, the artillery is uh, ready. Insane. Mm -hmm. Assassin, bye. <laughs> yeah. They're like, uh, uh oh. Those reports of them having artillery were accurate. Chaparral. All right. Here we go. We're going to move on up. I have no AC-20 left, but I have medium lasers and I can scout. Hunchback is now in melee mode. All right, chaparral, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Yeah? Okay. Wait for it. Structure exposed. Yeah. You land behind them with artillery, you strip off that weak back armor. And if you can make them run, you get to shoot it. Pilot bleeding out. Arrow 4, applied directly to forehead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? What do we have here? An Ostal? I haven't seen you in a while. Tabletop or otherwise. The Ost series of mechs are very interesting. All right, binary laser. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. He's a little stressed. He's like, why? And I'm like, because I can. Orion is very hot. Oh, an enforcer. I could take you home. You're a good boy. Cicada must die, though. Death to bugs. Well, Take that, you at this point, I offered them a chance to surrender. Like, if you punch out now, I won't have the demolisher drive over you. But only if you punch out now.
They were like, I don't, I don't like this. And I'm like, I wouldn't either. Demolisher. Demolisher, let's see. Enforcer, shoot. Yeah, I see 20 whizzing by your head. Shall we? Hit that hostile. Oh. That was a bad day for him. We'll move to the other side of the mountain. Because Sun Tzu said always fight on the sunny side of the mountain. Remember? Okay. Let's hit you. There you go. Structure exposed. Hit that. One more ought to do it. Come on. Oh, man. Almost. Almost. I've ripped armor off every facing, I think. Yeah, All right. Moving the melee hunchback in. The punchback. Aye, aye. All right. Let's see. Enforcer. Come on. Come on, Enforcer. Come on. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What? Come on. Coming off that hill acting like you're a big boy. I don't think so. Ostol dies now. Oh, come on. No. Ostol. He destroyed that last building, so that's on him. Ooh, a head hit. He got lucky. He's not he's not backing off. Not yet. All right, Orion, retire him. There we go. Yep. Keep shooting till he falls down. All right. Ooh. Enforcer, eh? Still alive. I want it. Enforcers are great. They're great, Max. I like them. I like them almost as much as I like the Centurion. I think, if I'm going to be honest, the only reason I like the Centurion more is it looks cooler. That's it. Style counts. He shouldn't, but it does. You got to have that right, you know, energy about your Max. What's he doing? Huh? Oh man, he put a hole through the uh, Orion. You son of a bitch. Well, it's artillery time. Arrow four. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a bad time for him. Come on, give him one more. One more. Ooh, juicy. Okie doke. Hunchback, 4-H. Let's do it. Ramp him up and hurt him. Oh, missed. Only a little bit of bracketing. Let him know he can't run. No, he really can't run. I mean, half the forest is on fire. Not good. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. See, you got the two binary large lasers, and then you got the uh, four medium lasers, and you can just swing one for the other. You know, left, right. Almost out of missile. But just enough. Just enough missile. Mm, it's a good feeling. Handled. Uh, let's see what we take home from this one. Let's see what we make in money. But after this mission, we're going to have to go find a slightly tougher planet in order to make more money and to acquire better things. So let's see what we can take on home. I think that's going to be kind of the key. What do we got? Oh, yeah, a little beat up little dinged in the head. Well, most of our mech warriors probably have dents. 
Oh, I can get all them Enforcer parts. Crusader? I can get three of the Crusader parts. The Hunchback? Unfortunately not. Uh, yeah, they're not going to give me any of them Hunchback parts other than the one. Which is a real bastard. Uh, so I will take, you know what, Crusader. Mmm. 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 You know what? I'm going to take the Enforcer bits. Just based off the need of the moment. I'm going to take the other Hunchback part. The Assassin I can sell at the market. I'm going to go down to the Assassin store. Be like, hey, you can have this back. And just drag it in on a flatbed. And they're going to go, but don't you want your Assassin? I'm like, no. Nobody does. And he's going to cry because he's an Assassin salesman. The Assassin. The Nissan Altima of Max. There, I said it. On a long enough timeline. Oh. oh, yeah. Our officers need guidance. I'm going to be like, Miss Les. Let's go on down to the mag bay. And uh, let's see. Uh, repair, because nothing's missing. Let's go into our storage. Um, we can get the enforcer working. Yeah. Let's get that let's get that guy in the uh line lineup. The assassin, scrap, chameleon, don't need ya. I know there's a chameleon fan club. It's okay. It's alright. Chameleon's an alright mech. It's not bad. You can make it do a lot of things. It fits in in almost any situation. So let's go to navigation and let's go to a planet that has more skulls. Albion, Duran, York. We're going to go to York. Chippy's going to start yelling. All right, here we go. All right, let's make sure that we have... Uh, we don't have any engineering work to be done, looks like. So let's get something working. Yeah, more mechs. Or... Uh, yeah. Increase drop limit is very important so let's do that and let's get down to the mech bay and let's work on this enforcer and make it a little bit more what i need all right so i got ac10 er large laser er large laser that's a good mix of equipment it really is but i can make it better and by better i mean worse we're going to do medium laser medium laser Medium laser, medium laser, medium laser, medium laser. Now, this has got an endo steel and double heat sink kit in there. I'm taking the double heat sink kit out of there, and I'm going to take uh, double heat sinks, double heat sinks case. No, we're going to remove that. Uh, XL engine, I don't think so. Jump jets, I'll keep. Okay, the double heat sinks are missing, which is good, actually, because who cares? Medium laser is good. I'm going to use standard heat sinks, standard engine. All right. And then we're going to put more armor in this baby. Enforcer strong. There we go. Good, good, good. So slightly more tough and one more heat sink there. Good. Now we have it slightly better to my needs. Still very heat efficient. I got five medium lasers on one side, and I got the AC-10 on the other. And she spins just fine. All right, let's get her to the new planet, shall we? We're going to a new world. Let us meet and kill new people. See, we're, we're, we're getting through Lyran space, and we're helping them fall... Well, we're helping them solve all of their internal problems by making them worse. Don't worry, it helps their economy, which is really the side they're on. Alright, now that we've got that done, excellent. Now we can get the next mech bay working, which is very important. Now that we have that mech, once we get the mech bay all the way up, we'll be able to do whatever we like. It will be pleasant, to say the least. All right, traveling to York, and we're here. Again, Shippy will start yelling. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. 
What do we got? Show me. Show me what we have at the murder store. Alicorn Mark 7 with the twin heavy gauss. Memory serves. They are in the front hull, not actually in the turret. There's a whole Zeus, which at that price is why. Why? Uh, not seeing any artillery for sale. Twin Heavy Gauss really has a, an appeal, but I'll take what I can get regardless. Ooh, one Heavy Gauss rifle, except I have plans for you. All right, what else we got? Uh, ammo. Do we have Heavy Gauss ammo? Of course not. That would be reasonable. I'm going to buy the LRM ammo while I can. Uh, MRM half ammo. No whole tons of it. Because why would there be? That would be reasonable. Sheep charge for the thumper. Just in case. Um, bum, 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 bum. Ammo. Narc explosive. Why? Oh, man. Why is there no heavy gauss ammo? Damn it. Now, oh, well. I wonder what kind of jobs there are here. Wow, there's a lot of work. Defend base, solo duel, huh? Oh man. Mm, recovery, a battle, assassinate, huh? What's this say? Oh. No, I won't be doing that. Uh, ambush a convoy, a bug hunt. Oh man. This'll be good shit, but it'll have to wait till next time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for supporting a schmuck like me, and I appreciate you. Now please, be safe, be well, take care of each other. See you next time. Oh, I bid farewell to my beautiful land. And as mustered in order before you I stand To march off to war and to die if I must And to fight like a bastard in this you must trust As, as the years, years pass along you will see what it's worth Bearing bodies and moving to another earth I fear not the low bear what happens to me just as long as my Van Zandt is finally free Just as long as old Van Zandt will remember me Set a course to our neighbors or anywhere new To a place where I can stand alongside the view Of the bravest we have, though we are not the best I'll wager we'll pass our most ultimate test as the mayhem will follow what we do today For all of our orders are morally gray I fear not the low bear what happens to me As long as my Tanzant is finally free For as long as old Tanzant will remember me Whatever they have left on hand And again we'll rise up to defend our land Though, Though the Vamsant militia is always at war Though we never quite know what we are fighting for I fear not the low pair what happens to me As long as my Vamsant is finally free For as long as old Vamsant will remember me
to join our brave causes to suffer your life and surely surrender to permanent strife. But if you feel the call and are willing to sign, you will find that you place your life down on that line. Surrender is never a tactic we use, for our cockpits are lacking and ejection fuse. I fear not the low bear what happens to me, as long as my Van Zandt is finally free. Just as long as my homeland will remember 